Okay, I'm going to do a short vlog with just some um, updates. Uh, right now we have Dasher getting kicked by baby. Dasher is really dominant. She almost acts more like a ram. All the other sheep really respect the camels and Dasher's like, screw this, I'm going to eat your food. There she goes again. She's going to try it again. There's one of her babies. Oh, you're kind of out of focus. They are adorable. Just adorable. Why are you out of focus? Come back and focus. Dasher's just so pretty. She has yeah. such a beautiful... Yeah, you're gorgeous. She has such a beautiful head. And she's a great, great mother. But as you can see, one of Dasher's lambs is missing and he was sold already. I had, uh, I just get so many emails about this sheep, I cannot even keep up with the demand. But it's great because then I'm very choosy about who I give them to. I really make sure they're going to great homes and I can really select the best. Uh, the only reason that I was able to sell him this early is because uh, Dasher had twins. So when I took the baby, Dasher didn't even notice, which I think was a little strange. I expected her to be a little concerned, but since she had her other baby, she was completely fine with it. But he went to a very nice family with kids and they were just thrilled. The reason that they wanted to do bottle raising is because these are 50% wild European mouflon. They're not domesticated sheep. And if you do not bottle raise them, they, they are wild. I was still sad to see him go, but it makes me really happy that I made someone else so happy. I mean, just the look in the kid's eyes when I held out the little baby to them, they were just ecstatic. And this is their first introduction to sheep. And uh, pretty soon they're gonna get him a friend and it's just everything I wanted. I wanted to bring these genetics to Arizona and introduce some fresh blood into what really is overbred. We just have the same breeds here over and over again and they're just, they are not very good at living. They can barely lamb themselves without assistance a lot of times. That's not true with mouflon. So to me the mouflon hybrids are kind of the best of both worlds. And pretty soon I'm going to be selling um, high quality prints of the animals on my website at camelsandfriends.com and uh, for a donation you will get a, a beautiful print of your choice. Um, I will try to feature all the animals. I'll probably only start with a few but all the proceeds will just go directly back to the animals. Sniper, are you mad because I didn't make a photograph of you yet. Yeah, Sniper is not available yet, but if things go well, I'll do a portrait of him as well. Oh, I just love Dasher's little ram lamb. I just think he's just adorable. Whoever ends up getting him is gonna be very, very lucky. Pancake is always watching from the spare bedroom window, always. It's like his own personal sheep TV. And here's Trivia's baby. Um, she is really big already, and she has very long legs and is very, very nicely bred. She is a coming together of two completely separate genetics from literally across the country. The, the sire is from Canada, and uh, Trivia is from Texas. So that was a meeting of two sheep that probably never would have been brought together. Just completely different genetics, which is really, really beneficial. You don't want to keep recycling the same thing over and over again. She turned out gorgeous. Chambi is currently enjoying a Kong that was gifted to her. Thank you so much. She just loves it. I've been stuffing it with all kinds of things and then I freeze it to make it a little more challenging. And she, it's funny, she carries it over by the sheep and watches them while she eats it. But your donations mean so much to me. I mean, yeah, I can't thank you enough. And it makes the animals so, so happy. 
But I think it's time for the big reveal. I've gotten so many emails asking what I decided to name Trivia's Little Lamb. And I went through all your suggestions and all your comments, and it was tough. You guys came up with some really great stuff. But after much thought, I'm going to have to go with Ithaca. I just really, really like that. I just think it suits her well, and that is now her name. So Trivia and Ithaca, thank you so much for coming up with the name. And uh, some of the ones that you posted, I'll... I'll keep in mind for the future. Here's Jackson, and I swear his horns have tripled in size um, from when I first brought him home. I don't know if it's possible that he was malnourished at his previous home. Uh, I know they do grow fairly fast, but it seems like a little bit much. If you missed on Facebook, um, I'm going to be on a documentary on uh, the Discovery Channel. They came out here and they filmed for a couple days of just me working with the animals, mainly with a focus on the camels. They don't have a release date yet, but um, I think it's going to be sometime in April, but I'll keep you posted on that. Hopefully they don't, um, let's just say you can do a lot with editing and uh, Hopefully they didn't make me look like a lunatic or I, I don't know. Reality TV is scary, but I wanted to do it. I, I wanted to do it for the animals. I wanted to show that camels aren't ill-tempered. A lot of people will go on holiday to the Middle East and that's their only experience with camels. And well, they're mean and they're mean in the Middle East because they're abused. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I've said it a lot of times in interviews and with personal emails where I talk with people, but my ultimate goal is to be open to the public. I want to have a petting zoo with a strong emphasis on education. I, I want to educate about the animals, especially with young minds and school children, and uh, be more than just, oh, come here and feed this animal. I want to talk about them and um, let the kids have a real interactive experience and an appreciation for nature. I believe it's good to start young and that is my ultimate goal really. So I'm far away from that dream now, but everything I do is taking a step towards it. The only obstacle of course is money and oh, I love where I live, but I don't think it could be done here. I need some more land and uh, a good public access area where uh, people can visit, but that is what I want to do with my life. I really want to educate others and uh, especially young minds. I want to instill a respect for nature at a young age. I think that is so important. I mean, they will be the ones that will be protecting animals in the future and literally saving species. Hi, Jombie. You look tired. That's because she played with Sugar Tree. If you saw my other video, uh, well, I'll post a link above right now to it, but they just wear each other out and they're so tired afterwards. It's just great exercise for them both. And if we scroll up, I bet we'll see a pancake. Yep, there he is. But thanks to whoever sent that Slim Cat um, treat ball, oh my gosh, the animals just love it. Sugar Tree and Pancake both love it. Um, if you missed that video, uh, look above. I'll, I'll put a link up to it. But it's such a great toy, and I totally recommend it. You can just buy it on Amazon.com. But thank you again for those that donated. I mean, essentially, you're allowing me to spend more time with the animals, you're allowing me to foster more animals, and you're allowing me to have more free time to make videos for you. And I appreciate every single little thing, and it, it makes me so happy when it makes the animals happy. And just thank you for thinking of us. It just means so much to me. And your donations are things that I use every day, and the money I save means that I can help more animals. I can take in fosters and get them veterinary care and help injured animals. 
if you've been a long time subscriber, you might have seen my videos with my boy Zoe. Those were some of my fosters that I took in. Their owner sadly passed away and they had nowhere else to go. And uh, every once in a while I will foster a dog or a cat. That's what I was supposed to be doing with Pancake, but he stuck. Sniper, I think this is the first time that I filmed him since more and more passed. Um, he's pretty big. I think he's about seven feet tall. Uh, the only way I really know that is I know my, my chain link fence here is six feet and he's about 12 inches taller than it. I also used to do wildlife rehabilitation. I mainly focused on birds of prey. Uh, since I moved away from the area where my associates were, I don't do it anymore. I still get calls and I uh, provide assistance, but I really wasn't happy with the kind of the politics of it. I felt like it really wasn't about the animals. But wildlife rehabilitation has given me so much experience and uh, insight, and now I'm able to help so many more animals. Hi, Sniper. Sniper is going to eat this camera. So, male ostriches are black. And Sniper is coming to the age where you're almost beginning to tell. Now, this does not seem to be growing in black to me. I think Sniper might be a girl. That is what I guessed when she was a chick, but I'm still not 100% sure. Um, doesn't really matter to me either way. Uh, I've gotten some emails um, saying that my videos aren't showing up in subscriber lists and, and they find out that they miss them and they're upset about that. And I don't know if that's a YouTube glitch. I mean, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. But if you don't already, follow me on Facebook because I post all the videos there and you can always catch them that way. It's just camels and friends. I also get a lot of emails from people asking how I did this and um, how they can do it and how it's been a dream of theirs. And let me tell you, you can do it. You just have to start very, very small. It's just a really long process. I've been literally working on it my entire life. You just have to take very little steps and you will get there. And I just, I know you can do it. I mean, anything is possible if you really want to do it. I know you can reach your goal. But I started out just by saving and saving and saving and saving, and I got baby when he was 30 days old. And from there, I just slowly acquired different animals, um, my rescues, and uh, did the wildlife rehabilitation, got more involved that way. And I worked really hard to be able to get a piece of land where I could have these type of animals. But there isn't a day that goes by that I'm not grateful. I mean, I walk out here and I see all these animals and I'm so happy and I don't take it for granted at all. And I'm just thrilled to have the subscribers that I do. And it just, it's just wonderful. I appreciate it so much. I love showing the animals to you and I love making these videos. And I really hope that it's changed uh, some people's opinions about, you know, certain breeds. Dobermans aren't vicious. Sheep aren't stupid. I mean, camels aren't ill-tempered. Uh, you can live safely with wild animals. Uh, you can have, I don't really like the term exotic pets, but you can have atypical pets and not be insane or not put people's lives in danger. Uh, the media hype around that has, you know, just been ridiculous and it can be done. And these animals are a part of our human history and they're just uh, a part of us. I'm trying to think right now what other questions I commonly get asked. Uh, I'm drawing a blank, but if you want to leave uh, below in the comments anything that you've been wondering, I'll try to do another vlog soon and answer them. 
and I think I need to end this video now or it's going to end up being one of those videos because of my rural internet connection that's going to take like 48 hours to upload but basic rundown no more lambs hopefully soon um, if YouTube is giving you problems check out my Facebook I always post everything on there so you can catch up with it uh, shortly I'll be selling um, high quality art prints of the animals with 100% of the proceeds going back into their care and again thank you for your donations they are very very much appreciated and it just puts me one step closer to, to my ultimate goal of having an educational center for wildlife uh, thank you <laughs> Octavian he always has to yeah he's such a show off but yes thank you and I, I thank you for watching these videos and I will have a ton more up soon hi sniper say bye bye I'm talking so much I'm losing my voice or just eat the camera you know whatever and it wouldn't be a vlog without sugar tree so here she is really quick and she seems to be cuddling up with rainbow dash but is that your friend? Are you best friends with Rainbow Dash?